Hey peeps, Pickle16 here recording yet another commentary of Summer 3's bloopers. I am at blooper22, and we're going to be focusing more on the plotline of these videos. There's going to be some sort of countdown, but uh, I... It, it, uh, I eat, mm. What I mean by that little string of gibberish there is that I'll tend to count down towards the inevitable end in which he creates for his videos. Anyway, let's begin. Oh god, hold on. Now that I've got that over with, let's continue the video. Well, it started actually. I'm going to turn it down so then I can comment over it. Because dang, that's loud. They look like really low quality sprites, but I'm not going to comment too much on that. And by low quality, I mean the quality. Quality. Color surrounding them. It's definitely, definitely, definitely posing a problem here when you start making him search for drug flavored Pop Tart. What does drug flavored even mean? Does it mean any kind of specific one? Because that's not a thing you should be promoting in your videos, douchehead. What is that noise? That uh, 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 uh. that is not my computer. What the hell is that? <laughs> By looking like you're stoned, it's just a normal Goomba. New Goomba face. Is this some kind of Game Shark cheat code where it changes the sounds in the game? If so, I'd really like to know. No, it's not a glitch. There's nothing that can cause such a glitch. The Mario voice is only specifically programmed to be mapped to certain commands, such as when Mario jumps. It's probably a piece of code that says, if Mario jumps, insert sound here. You know, it's like d d game programming. There is nothing that causes a glitch like that unless it's in some kind of corruption or if it's a um, James Shark. Game Shark cheat code. You can tell that the sound effects being used for Mario's voice are overlapping some of the channels that create some of the extra pieces of music in the Bomb Battlefield. You can only hear the main melody. Listen. Sound overlap tends to happen in games when sound channels tend to try and overlap each other. With this kind of a cheat code, it's trying to take up free, not... not Sound channels that aren't using very much sound and are replacing them with the sounds that you do here. It happens in games quite frequently for an infrequent second. Like you might hear a sound dip in and out for a second. It happens even in DS or GBA games, I know that much. But if like you're jumping, the game has to suffice a sound channel for that specific thing. Usually, it's not very noticeable. Sometimes, however, it can be very noticeable because the game is trying to concentrate all these sounds at once and earlier systems could not handle that much in terms of... So, if you were trying to create like four sound effects and the game was also playing the music, then it wouldn't work for an earlier system. So, sound overlap tends to happen a bit. In these kinds of things. Well, this level certainly turned into um not bomb on battlefield, but drug trip battlefield. 
And that could mean really anything that causes a bit big effect. And by big effect, I mean things that people would most likely be taught about in school now to avoid the crud things you hear on TV or in the news or whatever. I'm pretty sure this is not a good thing to be promoting in your videos, idiot. Unless you're trying to avoid the music. Ow! That hurts! Even if it's a background noise, that is very... I'm pretty sure that was not terrorist sound. Thank you, dear lord. See, he always stops in this area and he always asks to <laughs> sell a goon. He always asks a goomba and then kills it. Look, the sooner we can get out of here, the better. And by feeling weird, it's flashing different hues for a couple of seconds while you moon jump. How do you even know what trippy feels like? You said, why are you floating? I feel trippy suddenly. How come you know what this means? Were you told by Mario or Luigi? Answer how you know this stuff. You're just trying to kill yourself? Rainbow flushing. It's meant to signify an acid trip. Well, the general internet definition of acid trip, which is generally just, um, rainbow flashing and all that. Generally, usually also accompanied with weird sim- with, um, not weird, well, gen generally, ahem, strange, weird, symbols and or colours, because to signify what kinds of effects they have on you. Oh yeah, duh. Well, okay. Right. Can anyone explain, if he hadn't had the thing before, so why was he hearing the corrupted music? Someone explain that for me. <laughs> Maybe he shouldn't be running around looking for pop darts doing nothing else with his life. Maybe he should just go to the supermarket and buy actual pop tarts if he actually wanted to buy a pop tart, you know? If he wanted to try one, maybe he should have bought one. You know, because that's how normal life works. Even if this is Mario and Luigi's world, it's implied that things like phones and other things exist. So it wouldn't be out of the question to assume that a supermarket or some kind of store that holds Pop-Tarts would exist too, rather than searching for them in a barren field. And by barren, I mean it's full of enemies and nothing else. And platforms and junk. Pretty sure there's a better name for it. I'm pretty sure the outcome of this fight is pretty obvious, so where's the end of this fight? It goes for two minutes, longer than two minutes, three minutes, three minutes. Well, it looks pretty tight since Luigi's there, but it's obvious since Luigi said it in the beginning, Alberto wins. It was planned from the start. By beating you when you said you were going to be owned. Implied in the story, yes, he trained. I don't know how he can train that much in the time span of two episodes. Maybe it happened off screen. Well, okay, the... Before I talk about that. Before I... 
Why was there no screen cap where, Lu where Luigi would possibly speak? Just had a long silence. Now as for the music. It kind of sounds like... It kind of sounds like if you were playing Super Mario 64, you went in the castle, and then you took out the cartridge. That's what would probably happen. That The music would just freeze. It happens several times in games I have, or even the Nintendo DS, for the Cycle DS. Sometimes the game might just crash or something, and it will just play a very long note till the end of time, or it might play nothing at all. So, it's a thing! And by plumber fixing it... <laughs> I don't know how you're gonna fix music since you're a plumber and plumbers don't fix music. <laughs> You certainly love overusing this code, Starman 3. Would you mind sharing it with the audience? I don't think you would have even in your description. It's probably due to where the sound lies, because the sound that you emanate, Mario, which is all of the sound clips that you um, say or even emanate, uh, sounds that are tied to you in every single area, no matter what. Just as the castle loads specific areas when it needs to, the game loads specific music when it needs to. So I betcha, I betcha, it's loading the Mario sound effects because those are the only things aside from the castle music, which is the only thing repeating that very high-pitched sound, which is the only thing, aside from that, that the game probably can find to corrupt. Ooh. And by fixing it, you literally probably just turned off a code. By having fun, you run around? Enough with the Wii! Seriously! Wii does not mean the console Wii! Oh my god, there you have a serious problem. <laughs> More toad sucks jokes. Wow, Mario, you have a def really short temper. Um, he only said it once. This gun. Definitely not a subject you should be promoting in your video, Starman 3! Unless you want to be that one. Repeat the scene from whatever blooper it was where you just shoot toads endlessly. Um. So apparently the joke stopped because apparently doing it twice, like I've told people several times, is not funny. And you will never hear a toad suck stroke again. Nope. That laugh is really soft. Who the hell is Barrio? We were not given an introduction, he's just here. Who the hell is Barrio? It's even in some of the comments too. Some people are just asking, who the hell is Barrio? Fun fact, this guy appears here, and then he never appears anywhere else. Watch this, this is just glorious. He just introduces some random color code, and then completely abandons it within an episode. Gee, I wonder who else he's gonna do that with. My friend, Mario has never mentioned you before at all. You've just come right the hell out of nowhere and we have no idea who you are. And we're just supposed to assume you're someone major since Mario is, oh dear, your friend.
This was only the start of the color codes that would eventually be abandoned in the next episode. Don't worry, this trend is gonna continue. Uh, bomb on battlefield? Uh, yeah? It's just a casual. Is this picturing? I love your logic. Or well, not logic, grammar. I was about to say spelling, but I don't think picturing is what you should be using. Wait, I cut off the music very badly. Could just cut the scene out. <laughs> Enough with the R terrorists. How does he know about that? I bet you this is just him running through Bomber Battlefield. Narana, good for you. You can't even spell. Oh god, we need to hear this three more times. More than three times. Again. Yep, you're obviously doing it to get another sound clip in. You're doing it to get another sound... Oh, you put yourself into the corner there, you idiot! Uh, no, it's called. There's not really a good collision in there, since you don't really expect to be going around there. I mean, they expect you to tap the wall and think, Oh dear, I've got to go around the other side, which means I've got to go up and above and go around. But they didn't really think to put collision there. It's their first 3D game, so give them some flack. I mean, slack. Flack. Slack. Uh. Uh, it's a mushroom. And you call Mario your friend, yet he uses these mushrooms all the damn time. The on time. I meant dawn time. Oh wait, we're just gonna completely disregard the Mario friend script because that means nothing at this point. It's just a way to keep you paying attention for the next minute of the video where he's just running around bum on battlefield and then he's completely abandoned, never to be seen again. I bet he still had this color code for like three or four or f six years without even realizing what to do with it since he just abandoned it first go. See, this is what I mean about keeping the SMC4 audio in. It doesn't matter if it's Mario's sound effects. It keeps the sound at an even level without creating the castle sound in the middle of the level select screen like we had a couple minutes ago. How do you know about the terrorist joke? And seriously, why are they calling them terrorists just because they're bombs? I should call all toads mushrooms by that logic, even though they've been, um, considerably, um, confusing and as to whether they're mushrooms or they're just people with mushroom hats on, I don't know. But, by that logic, one toad being a mushroom should count to all of them being a mushroom. And that's why stereotypes are things that should be avoided. <laughs> Thank you! Just, just in putting your part 22 promotion in here. And how do you know it's called Terrorist Zone? Only Mario said it previous app. And then you will never see Barrio again. Could have said that in earlier credits, you know. <laughs> I'm not sure if you could have controlled the thing, but... 
you know, it may be higher quality on the DS, but when you're putting a camera up to the thing, which is probably the only method of getting it at the time, I think it's more wise to use the echoed version the N64 version has, you know? Oh, see you in 23.